Yes! Darren Jarmo! So Brodie Grundy leads the way up against Riley O'Brien. That could be one of the more interesting matchups tonight. We're ready to go. It's Tuesday night footy. It's round 11 for Walker against Madge. And Himmelberg comes to the ball. Ruffin had him covered. Fogarty gets involved. Taylor Walker got balanced enough to get the ball forward. And McAdam decided not to take it. Trying to do the team thing. But sometimes you just got to attack the footy. Troll at the fumble from Madge and invited in McAdam. And Laird rushes it onto the boot. Dangerous ball. Stengel versus Noble. Adams had his hand held. And he, well, I thought he made he got the ball to boot. Mm. He's convinced he did. He didn't get much on it, but it looked like it might have tickled the boot. But that's the sort of press we need to see. In particular from Adelaide small forwards, Tyson Stengel. Still an inexperienced player, the former Tiger. Two goals, three in five games this year. That's an outstanding looking kick. It holds its line. And yes, he says, it's a goal. Plays it up to the 50, and a good juggle from Himmelberg. He did. And McHenry getting busy around the packs. Crouch at full stretch, Walker into the fend first, and then a second, brushed off Magin. Red read it well, it's deep towards full forward again. Himmelberg almost! Stengel looking for his second goal. Spinning, spinning, and now the footy is spinning through! Ally second, Stengel second! Then he attacks it, but importantly, you've got your small forward front and square. Mopping it up, that's where he should be, preying on and expecting his key forward to compete for the ball. He takes the front and square spot and a great snap. We'll talk about a little bit more in a moment. His keys runs into and runs out of the pressure. And now they can get some run. Schonberg is the one to provide that. Driving kick, McCannum. Looking urgent after taking it and then plays it wide for Stengel. So it's a, just held them up a bit. Yeah, they're swarming back the numbers, the pies. Himmelberg, yes! Superior judgment that time, and the Crows get an opportunity that the Magpies missed at the other end. And the... So, needless to say, they have to capitalise the Crows, and that's exactly what Himmelberg A head breeze that end, Jace. Just a little way. Oh, oh, Taylor Walker. Smith's on to this. I've seen it's difficult at that end to get the same penetration he did. Oh. A beautiful looking kick. And McCannum couldn't help but take the chest mark. Again, it's a beautiful looking kick. Is it far enough? No. That's the end Mark Rashudo told us about. Collingwood were kicking to that end in the last quarter. Laird. Himmelberg. Oh, good. Geez. Fogarty took a few down. Then tries to get up, but there was no escaping. Keys cops it next. Ruffhead still feeling it. So they're a man down. Stengel's got two. That would have been his best of the night. You were just waiting for that ball to grip and turn, weren't you? It just kept skidding. Fogarty came bursting through. It's a big collision. Oh. Yeah. Oh. He cops the shoulder of Fogarty full on. And he's a solidly built man, yeah. Darcy Fogarty. I've done the footy, it's come out. McHenry. Ducked and ducked again and again. No, that's high. They called back twice the umpire. 22 goals, five in his career. This is a moment where he needs to draw on that pure kicking style. And deliver a goal for the... Rose, but he too falls short. Sends it back to the wing. Equal numbers and in the air. McPherson takes the mark. He looks a decent player, doesn't he? Got, got good speed. Back it goes again. McCann! Oh! He's been threatening to do that all season. We know he's he got can a take a mark. Yep. We know he can take a mark. Now he's got to finish for Adelaide. We saw him in the third quarter. That's a great mark. I, I just using him as a step ladder. His, his shot for goal in the third quarter was a very good one. It was going straight through the middle. It just fell short. Yeah, he got his run up wrong on that occasion, Jase. He needs to do a lot of work on his goal kicking technique just to make the most of the hard work he's doing getting the ball. Oh, that's a dart. That is superb. And that gives the LA Crows the hope they need. 
And yeah, it's cheeky look at the scoreboard, just have a look at the replay, get his confidence up before he's kicked that absolute laser through the middle of the goals. But that is some sort of hanger. <laughs> he missed a couple of weeks ago with uh, a tight hamstring, come back and played last week, but he come off pretty dejected and looks like he might have jagged it. That's, oh boy, that's no good. No, but raise away. Oh. Why didn't you say that? Oh, I was just asking Seedsman. <laughs> You're asking Seedsman. Got it back to McKinnon <laughs> and then to Shoal. It's a couple down on the edge at half forward. This play goes on. Stengel wriggles through two tackles and then the handball to Himmelberg. And he finishes it off nicely. There has been a bit to like for the Crows tonight. Matthew Nix would have got a bit out of tonight. But he won't get any points. So the Magpies had a few nervous moments. But they get another victory. And some fantastic moments of the night. The return of Lyndon Dunn and Tim Broomhead have long-term injuries. Lyndon Dunn kicking a, a really important for the goal for the Pies when they were very hard to find. So well done to him. And the Magpies getting home by 24 points.